we arrive at a new home of course jiggered and i can see somebody chasing away the flies she's she or he i don't know abariako oh we will night one nanny hmm anyway well i'm going win Angalia uko ni jibu. Wewe unaitwa nani? Si ni jibu kiangalia uko. Unaitwa nani? Vero angalia angalia huyu. Vero. Wewe unasoma wapi Vero? Special. 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 Oh special. Okay, oh she's Veronica. Eh. Vero and she she goes to the special school. Ah nini wapi malazi yako Vero? Mama Vero. Okay, so we would want to see where she sleeps because that is where the problem is. <laughs> Vero ana lalanga wapi? Ana lala hapo. Ni msichana yako? Eh. Oh, uko na watoto wangapi? Uko na wengine wako wameenda shule. Wao uko na watoto wangapi? Nane. Watoto wa nane. So this is Veronica's mother and she has eight children. And Veronica, Veronica ni namba ngapi kwa wa nane? Veronica Watano. Kwa hivyo yeye ni kwa katikati kabisa. Also Veronica is the fifth born and her other children have gone to school. Wengine si wakubwa wali walioa na kuoleka. Kijana hajaoa. Oh. Okay. So Veronica stays there. Veronica at a special school. Okay. So Veronica is in the special school. Alizaliwa hivyo ama alifika mahali akachanganyikiwa. Sasa alichanganyikiwa tu akiwa mdogo lakini kumzaa mm. ni kumzaa nzuri mm. yeah. lakini wakati alifika mahali niligonjeka Aha. sasa wakati niligonjeka uh -huh. tukafika mahali akiwa bado ako na mwaka uh -huh. sasa ile maziwa wakati alikuwa na nyonya juu nilikuwa naongezwa maji sasa uh -huh. mimi nikaona kivi yangu niliona labda hiyo maji yenye alikuwa na ninyonya ndani ya maziwa yangu labda ndiye ile mwafeti. Hapana. Ni yangu juu kwa sababu <laughs> sikuwa na kula. Ile <laughs> shida. Yaani kwa vwangu. Wewe wacha niambie marafiki zangu kwa sababu ndio nataka wakuje wasaidie yeye kushinda hata mimi. And, and, and mama anaitwa nani? Mama yake anaitwa Beatrice. Beatrice her mother Veronica's mother is called Beatrice. And she has uh, an interesting story. She says that uh, Veronica was born a normal child. So when Veronica was about one year old, she got sick mm -hmm. and she couldn't eat. But, um, you know, they put her on a drip. So uh, while she was on the drip, she was breastfeeding Veronica. And then she thinks that that is how because Veronica was uh, suckling contaminated milk because the milk was mixed with the 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 drip so she feels that maybe that is what made her special and i'm saying that no because una just say yo magic ingia kwa damu haiwezi pita mpaka kwa kwa maziwa direct so hiyo tu ni mambo ya Mungu tu atuelewe lakini usiwe una jilaumu nilikuanga na jilaumu hapana hapana so she has really been sasa ungefanyaje na wewe uko mgonjwa na mtoto ana maji sasa ungefanyaje si lazima ungenyonyesha tu so she has really been feeling very bad that uh, her daughter became special because of the milk that uh, was coming out of her that it was mixed with, with the drip. Now when I drip, 
si ilikuwa ni ya ni ya ni ya, ni ya, ni ya, ni ya, ni ya, ni ya chakula tu ama ilikuwa ya malaria hiyo ndio ilikuwa ni, ni kama sasa ilikuwa imechanganywa na ya malaria juu kwa sababu nilikuwa nagonjeka kila mara ulikuwa unagonjeka malaria ama nini malaria sasa ilikuwa zaidi okay e. so the, 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 the drip she was on was i think she was on quinen walikuwa wanapitia kwa msipa eh kuna zile walikuwa wanapitia kwa msipa na zingine sasa ya kuingiza tu okay na pia maji okay so uh, she had very bad malaria and she was on a drip and then she was breastfeeding so she feels that maybe veronica uh, when she took that milk it affected her mind you know, and then she became special and i'm telling her you know i'm not a medical doctor so i can i'm not very sure about that but i don't think that a, a queen in drip a woman who is on queen in drip and we have nurses and doctors please help me know that does a patient does a malaria patient who is on quinin uh, are they not supposed to press to feed lakini daktari alikwambia kwamba usinyonyeshe ama walikuwa sawa tu walikuwa nasema ninyonyeshe walikuwa sasa hiyo ndio hiyo ndio inakuambia kama ingekuwa shida wangekwambia usinyonyeshe na wewe unajivija unajojesha hapo ndio pia ningeshuku walikuwa nasema ninyonyeshe yeah but you know the doctors and the nurses were telling her no you can go on and press to feed so she kept on breastfeeding as she was getting the the medication so she has felt that that is when i messed up my daughter and i'm telling her that it's not true if it would, there was anything the nurses and doctors would have been the ones telling her no 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 don't breastfeed but they were okay with it so well anyway so we have come wewe ni baba yake oh mzee habari yako wewe ni watoto nane au wengi watu tuna pesa na watoto wawili pekee wewe unajiwekea nane mtu wewe ni Mungu sasa ningefanya nini hakuna wewe unge unge kuna wanaume na ukitoa unafanya unasema umeuwa hakuna hiyo maneno ya kuwa ni maneno ya catholic ndio nasemanga hiyo vitu ya tibu kizimama sasa wewe watoto wao wengi bwana so ungeenda ufanye ufanye kitu inaitwa vasectomy Unajua vasectomy ni nini? Ni kuenda kufunga wewe mwanamke. Umefunga kabisa. Eh? Umefunga kabisa. Umefunga kabisa, umefunga na wewe unazo mko na kijana ndio huyo namuona. Ana alikuwa sija akiambia mama nini. Eh? Huyo ndiye last born. Huyo ni namba 8. Wewe habari yako? Eh? Habari yako? Sana nzuri. Habari yako? We bado unanyonya. Oh, umesema sijasikia. Sema tena nitape yako wewe sweet. Habari yako? sema mzuri. Sodi, wewe unaitwa nani? Mwanangu anaitwa Edward. 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 Okay. So Edward is, is lost born and well, we have come here for Sasa ni nani peke yake na ako na madudu? Hata Veronica. Hata Edward ni wakati wakati hiyo na affect hata mwingine wa kushuri. Mwingine wa kushuri. Wako nazo. Lakini si mingi kama hiyo. Okay. Tunatoa, tunapasikia, tunafanya nini alafu tunatena. Zinarudi tena. So yeah, they he says they really try but the jiggers just come back. Kuna wenye wanaitwanga hii dara ya kukuja ya afya eh, ya yeah. wakakuja wakaspray nyumba yote hata mm. nikawapeleka huko kwa babu yao juu tena wanapenda huko nikasema labda zitaisha hapana mm. tunakaa kidogo zinarudi hata mimi mwenyewe nikajaribu kununua madawa zenye wananiambia ununue hii dawa wacha ni kuambia mama wacha maneno mengi mm. dawa ni simiti tukishia simboeka hapa simiti Mm. Hiyo ndiyo dawa mtu asikudanganye. Amen. Hata ndio nilipeleka paka hospitali. Acha tuombe Mungu afungue mlango. Tusimende hapa mahali. Hiyo ndiyo itakuwa nini. Amen. So they, they have been fumigating the house, you know people come and they do the fumigation. But then you guys just come back after some time. And that is what we we discovered through, you know, working with Rise Up Society. In the early years of the organization we were also doing the fumigation. I remember we went and took a DE DE is the diatomaceous earth it's a dust that you buy and then we would sprinkle and it really kills other uh, insects and even jiggers were dying but it was only a matter of time they would come back again until we discovered that the true spinacha the true solution 
is to concrete. So this is a big house and really, because you can concrete just one area, one place. Um, if we decide to concrete, and, and I know God will make way, we will need about $800. There are four big rooms and then we will be done. So that is what we were praying for, that God will provide that we can concrete this place and, you know, be done with the jigger. So uh, going out and then in the following video, guys, we'll be jigger digging Veronica. Okay. As we meet people, we learn a lot of things about what people think about themselves. Some people are always blaming themselves over things that they absolutely had no control over. Sometimes we do that. Okay. So I know what the mother has gone through, thinking she was responsible for her specialness.